Hey everybody, this is Kevin again with Grayline Overland. And today we are going to uh, check out these lights that I bought. Um, <clears throat> so I was not wanting to spend a bunch of money on lights. So I decided that I would give these, I, I, had, I had a friend who had them. So I figured, hey, let's give them a try. And they're like the, one of the cheapest lights you can buy online. It's $27 for two. Uh, I got them on Amazon. I'll try to link them. I'll try to link them in the description below. But they're super simple. But uh, they are going to add a little bit of extra light on the trail if I'm ever out there at night. Uh, there's been several times that we've been wanting to ride at night and um, I hadn't had any extra lighting. So I was like, eh, I really don't know if I really want to do that. So now, hopefully. We'll have enough lighting out there to where we can actually go out there and do a night run if we so choose. Um, I'll let you know uh, in the upcoming weeks how they do and what I think about them. And we'll do a little test out here. I'll, it'll be after dark. You know, I'll wait till after dark. I'll come out here and I'll do a little test to see how bright they are and stuff like that. And I'll show you that. All right. So let's get started. Okay. So I want to kind of explain to y'all how this works. All right. There's a little, I mean, it doesn't have any instructions. So I want to kind of explain to you all you can see there's a little nut in there. So uh, that is what holds this in place. OK, but um, it uses there's there's a couple of different bolts in here. Of course, process of elimination can tell you which one goes where. But this one is the one that fixes this to the light. So this. goes together and then this little bugger it goes under here and what it does is it locks itself in place right there so it can't move so whenever you're uh, mounting it it actually holds it in place okay so put that bolt in there before you start mounting on this okay It comes with all that you need to mount it, but it doesn't come with all that you need to uh, install it. So I had to buy some wire, and I'll show you that in a minute. But that wire, you know, I wanted it to be like the same thing this is, and this is actually insulated uh, two wire. So I went out and I bought some uh, from Amazon. It was cheap, 33 feet was like 18 bucks. So nothing major. So anyway, the way this is gonna work, so this as you loosen it it allows it to move around and stuff so you can position your light and then this is what you use to bolt to your bumper here on these little spots right here i had originally wanted to mount them upside down but they didn't uh they didn't provide spacers or anything like that i could probably make it work but i'm just going to wrap mount it on top for now and if i don't like it i can always go back and get a bolt and some uh, spacers and change it later and uh wouldn't be it won't be too hard so all right i'm gonna get to putting this one on i'll let y'all watch while i do that and basically all i'm gonna do is put it on here like so and then it, you know the washer and everything and then we are going to put them on like this I'm just going to snug them down right now because I'm not trying to fully mount them just yet. All I'm doing is getting them ready and then I will, I will go through the process of adjusting them and everything else after I'm done. But right now, I'm going to start on the wiring. So I will do that and I'll get back with you soon. Alright guys, so uh, I just finished wiring them up and what I did was they uh, uh, put them... Uh, joined them together right here and then um what i did was i put heat shrink on them so i did it with a connector and then i put some heat shrink on it in order to get it uh you know good and insulated and then i wrapped electrical tape around the ends to further seal it up so we don't have any water issues any uh, corrosion issues or anything like that and then i ran it along my bumper here down let's see here right there behind the grill and then it goes up around the light there 
and comes up in through here and then into my switch pod right here so good and clean nothing to worry about as far as that goes but yeah these uh i think these are going to turn out pretty good tell me what you think okay guys so this is the finished product i have uh, adjusted them just slightly outboard if you can see that i don't even know if you can see it on camera but it's just slightly outboard on each of them because uh they sit so close together i wanted to kind of spread the light a little bit to widen my view anyway so yeah there they are these are um ip68 um so they're waterproof so that, supposedly um but even if they aren't <laughs> even if they're not as good as they say they are got 28 dollars in them you know it's not like i threw away a bunch of money and this is more of a test to see how the cheap lights do and uh i'm gonna kind of go from there if i don't like them you know i'm 28 dollars out rather than being um you know four three four hundred dollars into them um 28 dollars in not gonna be real upset about that okay so i'm gonna uh, wait till it gets dark and we're gonna give you a look at what how bright they are and how they shine all right thanks guys see you in a few hey guys this is me again and it is now fairly dark it's as dark as it's gonna get before i go to bed because i have to get up for work early in the morning so i thought i would show you the uh lights and how they work i like i told you i wired them into the bus out there which wires everything into the switch that i have up here and i've got it wired into off-road lights so <clears throat> this is without the off-road lights on just regular headlights that is with the uh cheaper <laughs> a little el cheapo um amazon lights on i think i'm pretty happy with that you know it's uh, especially for 28 bucks it throws a pretty decent beam out there i'm not sure about distance let's let's see if i can angle it a little bit in order to get a little more distance out of it so that that's a pretty good distance so just to give you perspective again lights are off lights are on that's that's pretty good i can't complain about that all right well, we're gonna put it back over here and yeah so now we're gonna do headlights off that's with the headlights off let's back it up a little bit so we can get a better view of the spread i have to say it's pretty impressive yeah okay guys hey um if you like this uh give it a thumbs up we really like to get feedback on our videos um and we would really appreciate any kind of feedback you could give positive negative whatever it is if there's something else that you want to see please let us know and uh comment below please hit that subscribe button um and hit the bell so that you can get notified whenever we put a new video out all right guys thanks have a great one hope to see you on the trail soon